Hi, my name is Michael Zhao. I'm part of the Grayscale Research Team, and today we are going to be discussing the anatomy of Bitcoin bull cycles. So Bitcoin historically has been a cyclical asset that has momentum. The latest surge in Bitcoin's price, breaking all-time highs, signals a new potential bull market phase. But what is a bull market in the context of crypto? While it's not strictly defined, it's typically a three to four year period starting from the lows of the previous cycle, marked by a steady increase in price. A sign that the bull market could be forming usually starts with an increase in Bitcoin's market dominance. This measures Bitcoin's market value relative to the entire cryptocurrency market cap. This trend suggests that a rally in Bitcoin often precedes a broader crypto market gain, with investors eventually diversifying into altcoins for higher returns after profiting from Bitcoin. So what are the catalysts? The first is ETF inflows. The introduction and approval of spot Bitcoin ETFs have brought a new wave of money into Bitcoin. These inflows have significantly outpaced the new Bitcoin issuance, creating a supply squeeze that have pushed prices up. We've noticed that Bitcoin has recently traded at a slight premium in the US versus other markets, which supports this theory. The second catalyst is healthy on-chain fundamentals. The health of the on-chain metrics such as stablecoin inflows into the system and the total value locked in DeFi applications underscores the market liquidity and engagement. An increase in stablecoin reserves on exchanges suggests more capital is ready to flow into Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, which could support the bull market momentum. So with these drivers at play, where do we find ourselves in the bull market cycle? Analogous to a baseball game, we might say we're around the fifth inning, with progress made but still more room to run. Indicators like the market value to realized value z-score and the net unrealized profit loss provide a mixed picture. So at a high level, both these metrics compare the current market value of Bitcoin to the value when these Bitcoins were last moved on-chain, and contextualizes these differences to historical bull bear cycles. While metrics like the NUPL suggest that we're approaching historical cycle highs, others like the MVRV Z-score indicate potential for further growth. Something else that we keep track of is sentiment data. Subdued retail enthusiasm measured by search trends and social media sentiment compared to previous cycles suggest a different investor demographic might be driving this bull run. The emergence of spot Bitcoin ETFs has likely attracted more investors that are comfortable with traditional investment vehicles, which could alter this market's dynamics. So as we look ahead, several factors could influence the trajectory of this bull market. The first is new investor behavior and drawdowns. The reaction of ETF investors to potential price corrections remains an unknown variable. Historical price patterns show that Bitcoin experiences drawdowns in every bull cycle, but the impact of these new participants is yet to be seen. Second, we believe that there is still untapped institutional demand. A significant portion of institutional money remains on the sidelines, as they are still diligencing these ETFs. Their eventual entry, driven by a growing acceptance of Bitcoin ETFs and broader crypto investments, could inject fresh momentum into the market. Finally, we have macroeconomic factors. Global economic indicators, political developments, and regulatory changes will continue to play a critical role in shaping the market's direction. Investors should keep a close eye on these broader forces as they can swiftly influence sentiment and price action. In summary, the current Bitcoin bull market is driven by both fundamental and macroeconomic factors. While the path ahead shows promise, it's paved with uncertainties that require vigilant monitoring. For investors, balancing optimism with caution and focusing on long-term trends over short-term fluctuations will be key to navigating this cycle. To read the full report, please visit our website at grayscale.com research. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for listening.